Hey guys, welcome to the beginning of week four. It's time for me and my uncle's weigh-in and I'm feeling good. We are halfway through this six week thing and I'm feeling confident. Let's go weigh in. Okay. Big money, big money. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. I'll take it. What was it last week? Take it. I think it was 133.4. What? Good job. I'm going to get that under 130. I'm going to get well, it. Heck yeah. Okay, guys, so I am back home now. I'm going to do my official weigh-in on high scale and log all that down. So, next year. 132.5. Roger that, Roger. A little bit later in the day and I wanted to show you guys uh, my fridge right after I go grocery shopping before I start my meal prep because it's a little chaotic um, because I share a fridge with uh, my boyfriend and my roommate and my roommate even keeps stuff in her own little mini fridge in her room and she doesn't even take up that much space and yet all of my stuff is almost the entire fridge so beware meal prepping takes up a lot of space. So anyway, let me show you what I got in there. Alrighty. So here's the situation. <laughs> this is the top row. So I basically, I've gotten enough of these containers to make all of my meal prep uniform so they all fit in really nice. So that's what I have for meal prep so far. None of them are completely full. Like some of them just have vegetables. Some of them just have rice and beans. Um, I think I just, I'm heating up my last chicken right now, so, uh, but that's okay because Matt is cooking our chicken tonight. Uh, so yeah, down here I've got <laughs> chicken I need to trim the fat off of and then put in the freezer for later this week. And then we have our chicken that we started marinating last night so we could cook tonight. And then I have two bags of chicken here marinating that I just trimmed and just started marinating for my uncle because I do his meal prep too. So got that there let's see I've got fruit that I just bought the rest of the fruits here that's for my morning stuff with my yogurt here's a new thing of yogurt here's my yogurt that's like half full that I need to use up I've got two huge bags of broccoli back here one that'll make for early this week one that'll make midweek and what else Oh, then down here and behind is all of my extras that I leave for Matt. So you have extra chicken, extra rice and beans, and then back there's the extra vegetables. And we've got my apple cider vinegar, of course. I just opened a new one. I finished off my first whole bottle yesterday. I'm very proud of myself. That was a lot of apple cider vinegar, but I do, or I try to do a tablespoon before each meal. I would say on the whole, I probably do two out of the three meals a day that I get that in. It's really not great, so sometimes I forget. Anyway, what else do we have? Um, we have some leftover eggs there that Matt's using, spinach, and leftover protein shakes up here that I won't be drinking because they have lots of sugar. Anyway, yeah, that's the fridge. Oh, and then we've got all the extras over here, so I have... Oh, I forgot about the drawers. I keep my apples and onions and cheese in there. I don't eat the cheese right now. This is my roommate's drawer, and then this little area over here, that's my roommate's stuff. So she doesn't take up a lot of space, but then we have apples, onions, sauces, all that kind of jazz over here. So it's a, it's a full fridge sort of situation, but I will show you it now, and then I'll show it to you after I'm done meal prepping, and it's a little bit more organized. Hi ho guys. I decided I would do a little week four update. It is... Is it Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday today. So I figured I would just kind of show you guys me making some of my meals today. So yeah, let's do breakfast. My change for this week was spinach. So I just add a little bit of spinach to my regular protein smoothie. So that's not that. I don't really major or anything. 
I'm still kind of deciding how much I want to do, but just enough to make it greenish, right? See, like, that seems like an okay amount. Maybe that's too much. I don't know. I don't know. It kind of makes it a little full. Yesterday, I made this. I put everything in all at once, and it was way too full. So I think I'm going to start with the spinach, the protein, the ice, and water, and then blend that first. Do it some ice. So I just used two cubes of ice just to make it cold. It's not really for slushy reasons or anything. And then a little bit of water. I'm gonna blend it up now once, just to kind of settle it. Plug your ears, here we go. Just enough to get the spinach out of the way a little bit. Oh yeah, much better. Now I have plenty of space for the other stuff. Which is my little berries and yogurt concoction. Um, the only adjustment for this week is instead of raspberries, I did blackberries. So pretty much the same. It's a two-thirds cup of the yogurt. A Greek yogurt, like just plain, nasty, regular plain. <laughs> and then two thirds of a cup of the fruit as well. So I don't know if you guys are like this with your blenders, but I always like immediately clean all this because I've tried a couple of times just to put it in the dishwasher and I get like chunky, gross things all stuck in there that are really difficult to get out. So I don't even mess with the dishwasher anymore. So, um, it's not exactly the cutest smoothie. It's like a weird tan color, but it tastes delightful and it is completely healthy. And that is that. Also, nobody come for me. I love plastic straws, okay? And until I have something to clean out a reusable straw, it's not happening because all of my reusable straws have nasty chunks inside of them. And I am not about to use a straw that has chunks inside of it. So, no one get mad at me. I know there's a straw epidemic going on right now. Anyway, boom, there you go. And that is breakfast at high noon. <laughs> Hi, de ho guys. So it is Saturday and I wanted to quickly check in with you guys because I was editing last week's uh, check-ins and I realized that I never showed you the tea that I started drinking. So I'm gonna show you now because I'm getting my dinner ready. Shoo. This is the tea, and it's freaking d 
delicious. I love it so, so much. Good Earth, sweet and spicy. So good. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with it. And I eat it with dinner all the time now because it makes me pee a lot. My grandma was saying something about how a tea is a diuretic, which I guess is making you pee a lot. I don't know. Haven't looked into it. All I know is that when I drink it, I pee like crazy. So I've been drinking that with dinner because I used to drink it before bed and then I was up all night going to the bathroom. So, hmm, moved it up to dinner. Um, where's my cup? I use the same cup all the time. Ooh, my little Tigger mug. I love it so much. So make my tea and then I was showing you guys my food that I was eating. So I will show you dinner today because I forgot to show you lunch. Whoops. Okay. I need a dinner. Dinner, dinner, dinner. All right. So I actually am currently meal prepping a little bit too. So show you what I've been doing. Let me flip you around. So I just pulled these guys out of the oven. I did some intense seasoning this time around. I'm trying to get perfectly seasoned broccoli without using any salt, which is proving difficult. Let me try this. Hmm. That's okay. I'm not loving that flavor. Uh, Matt told me that he read somewhere that if you, um, spray your vegetables with vinegar that it'll like imitate a salt flavor so you don't have to use salt but that's not the flavor I'm getting so I'm not convinced about that idea it tastes like vinegar yeah that's not great would not recommend it's fine it's just like it just needs salt <laughs> it just needs salt Anyway, back to actual dinner. Let me flip you again. Okay, so, oop, hard to do with one hand. Here's actual dinner. Got sweet potatoes, broccoli, and I think I have Brussels sprouts in there too. At the bottom, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, so this is my dinner. Pretty simple. I've been eating at home a lot lately, so I've been getting to be a little fancier and use my toaster oven to like re-crisp up my vegetables which has been oh my god that's so hard to do with one hand <laughs> what a mess there's the brussels sprouts anyway brussels sprouts broccoli sweet potatoes and i've been doing okay let's get that all on there get all my vegetables i don't like super mushy vegetables so i prefer to toast them up in here for a little while. Anyway, I'll let that go for a few minutes and then I'll just microwave my chicken and that's that. And then also, after I finish my main dinner, I get an apple as my dessert. So, I think that's everything. There really hasn't been a lot of changes. It's pretty much the exact same as last week. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I added Brussels sprouts. I might've done that last week too, so I don't know. Ooh, Matt's calling. Time out. So I totally forget what I was saying before Matt called, but uh, I did remember one other thing I wanted to tell you about the tea is that this tea, it tastes like those little red cinnamon candies that are like that big. That's exactly what this tea tastes like. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. One of the best parts of my day for sure. Alrighty, week four is ending. It's happened. Ch -ch -ch. Ch -ch -ch. Ugh. All right. Two more weeks till cheat day.